Okay, let's do call clear screen. Okay. And now let us set up the screen. And the screen's command port is port 10. So let's load one, because if we look over here, it looks like one switches to 8-bit mode. 8-bit mode, I think, is what we want. Um, switches to 8-bit mode. What that means is that when you write data to the screen, it's going to write in 8-bit chunks instead of 6-bit chunks. Um, I'm not quite sure why you would want 6-bit, but it's there. I'm sure someone could comment below why you would want that. So we're going to load one to A. And then we're going to do out, right, um, hex 10, A. And then, as far as I can tell, the LCD controller needs about 60 clock cycles um, to wait between each command. Normally, you wouldn't wait. You would do your own, more of your program. And by the time that's done, you can just send the next command. But I'm lazy. This is a very small uh, program. Let's call our own delay. So call LCD delay. Um, and put and now let's do this LCD delay. And now you just need to figure out some instructions. They'll take around 60 clock cycles. And there's there's a couple here. Let me pop out for you. So that is the LCD delay. Um, that's around 60 clock cycles. So basically, we've now set up 8-bit mode. Let us, let us now disable the LCD and then turn it back on. So LDA2, and now if you go over here, 2 is disable and 3 is enable. So let's, turn, let's disable the LCD and then turn it back on. Okay, the A3 Okay So we've switched to 8-bit mode, we've disabled the LCD, we've enabled the LCD. Is this all necessary? I'm not quite sure. Please call it below if, if this is necessary or not um, Then I want to set the auto increment row. So basically when you send data um, to the screen, what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be sending a stream of, of data to port 11. And it's up to the LCD controller to f remember where the cursor is and that sort of thing. So we're going to tell the cursor to, I want to increment X automatically to the right, and you want to increment the cursor down Y automatically. You can do other ways and stuff like that, but I want it to do the normal way, right to left, or sorry, left to right top to bottom. And if you look over here, so ox, okay, here you go. Down and, yep, so move down. And left and right, right, I forgot. The screen is actually rotated. The screen we have is actually supposed to be uh, taller than it is wide um so that's kind of fun um just just to, to let you know that's why x and y seem to be, have been swapped there okay And then six is you gotta increment the column. So instead of loading six to A, you can just do increment A, right? Okay, so now we have the row and column uh, set. Now uh, increment mode set. Now we have to set the actual row and column. Um, so let us do that. Um, LDA20. Uh, 
column to zero. The reason it's 20 is because if you, 20 and 3F and 80 and 3B, that's basically, you're gonna be setting uh, chunks of eight bytes because we're in eight bit mode. Um, so basically take 20 to um, 3, 3, or 3F, uh, three, 20 to 3, 3, and that's however many chunks of eight bits we have on the screen. Um, and then you can send uh, a bit mask byte to, to the screen that way. Uh, you, you'll see, it'll make a little more sense later. The same thing with the row. Remember we're in 8-bit mode, so we'll be doing um, 20 to 3, 3. Um, if you're doing 6-bit mode, it'll be 20 to 3F because you'll have smaller columns. So just, just be aware of that. Okay. And then LDA80. ADH, right? Set row equals zero. So we're now supposedly up in the upper left hand corner. Okay. Now let us actually, well, let's finally draw to the screen. We can finally do that. So if you look at the port, it will say LCD data. Basically, you just write to the port. You make your byte, right? You make your byte, you write to the port, and then you're good to go. Um, it says you must wait a full LCD cycle between read and writes. So what's wild to me is that um, there are 3D ray casting engines and stuff for the T8084 plus. 10 microseconds between every single byte written to the screen? I don't know how they do it. Um, I'll, I'll have to look more on the forums and stuff. Uh, maybe maybe it is, um, but it's, it's pretty incredible what you can do with these calculators. So let, let's write a screen. So, so LD, A, well, FF, right? Let's write a, a single line to the screen, single line of pixels. Okay, then let us out. 11 this time and then call LCD delay. Um, call input to pause. And then ret. Cool. So if this is done correctly, we should draw a a line of pixels up here after we print hello world. So there's hello world. Done. Now let's see what is wrong. Okay, I fixed it. I had that hidden return up here that we never got rid of, so it just closed out immediately every time. Oh my god. But there, as you can see, we have we have graphics. We have pixels drawn to the LCD screen. Do you, like, you realize how huge this is? We now have graphics on the calculator in assembly, so it's super fast. There's no basic interpreted code. And as you can see, it's very easy to set up. I mean, you have a bit of a boilerplate to set up. But then once it's good to go, you can then just send stuff. Um, let's, uh, you know what? Let's play around. Let's try sending another one. I, 
there see it's auto incrementing you can then you can just keep adding to that line you don't have to change your cursor it will auto increment and then of course you can uh, change your um i don't know a e and then maybe let's draw to c and then let's test uh let's test that out But look, you, you can now drop pixels. It's so cool. It's absolutely really cool that you that you can do this um, this easily. Of course, maybe not with all the delays. Maybe there's other ways of doing things. Um, but you got your keyboard input. You can draw to your screen. And it's full Z80 assembly. Um, there's a memory map of the calculator to worry about. But um, other than that, like you're kind of good to go. Um, and you can play around with this make games make cool stuff please do we always want more cool things on these calculators and um yeah uh go ham if you have one of these and if you don't and you want to grab a calculator and play it around with they're so much fun they're it's a very rewarding project see you next time